you invited the whole band to Tangier. Yeah, was it already in the mindset of not, not really, but on... just like I said, we were like we 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 stayed connected uh, one way or another. But I, I really had like my life there, mm. so that was kind of weird. Also, just because, as you know, everybody was like, "Okay, well, what should we do?" And you know, and 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 I said, "Well, watch. Why don't you come like for a week or so, and you know, just to <laughs> to keep to to stay connected, and you know, just to also Tender is such a beautiful place, and it's very inspiring. Nice. And as well, why don't you come, you know, for for a week." <laughs> and and then when I realized that you guys that didn't want really. didn't want to leave, <laughs> says well maybe we should like think about this whole music thing again, mm. and we started to play really naturally with everybody and with the whole band, and and it felt right, mm. it felt real, it felt you know what it what what this band uh, should be about, and. And you guys stayed for six months, so probably you wanted to avoid like Canadian maybe winter. Maybe a little bit of this. Yeah. But no, we just until you until you discover what winter is in Tangier. Yeah, yeah. So then everybody wanted to leave. <laughs> then, <yeah. laughs> you didn't survive the, the winter. Yeah, like it's like we're Canadians. We know what winter is about. But then we had to talk also, and I think that's when this whole uh, because I had a lot of uh, ideas. And, and a lot of uh, uh, pieces mm. of poetry and everything, and I was sharing with Ben about this, and 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 Ben and I kept working together on different projects. We were uh, writing music for mu movies, and so music was still there, but I was just like sure. tired of that whole rock and roll lifestyle okay. bullshit. And at that point, and so I was like sharing with Ben, Ben, okay, well maybe you know, do you want to do something about it? You should do. You have like, and I had like some sorts of little ideas here and there musically and it's how oh, we should do that and I think because we reconnected it was easier for me to envision uh, doing going back in that music thing so because I was very uh, I was I was very happy to to write music and yeah. to, you know to, to do that with Ben because then you don't have to expose yourself you you uh, you're you're it's no longer about yourself mm. in the in in in, in this in, like this you know yeah for sure so what well, i always remember when we uh, we had a, a live gala for the secret family cult club and uh, you and ben called us and you were super excited about sharing about the projects but i honestly because for real when i mentioned in the in the first place i heard the final record in in tokyo and i couldn't imagine something um musically yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, lyrically I kind of, yeah, um, but the depth that you went through and all the music, that journey, it's such, um, you know, you don't need to be, to have distorted guitars and very rock mm. and roll songs to go, to be that heavy. Because this journey is really, um, like, raw. Yeah, but I think that the, the, just like, and I kept mentioning Ben and I because we, we really, uh, we, we really, um, as a team, really work on that record and, and Ben was like the driven force behind behind it all supporting and just really like you need to do it and every after every sessions so you, you will release this right <laughs> so just like reminding me of the inevitable you know just like you know that this will it's <laughs> this will go down on your permanent record right and um, so yeah but we, we I didn't feel like I had to be miserable mm. to to express some of those emotions. And also I think that even if it's still very, um, uh, you know, still vivid and it's very like, it's, I'm still very emotional about the record. I was like listening to it again and I'm just like, wow, I'm still discovering things. Sure. You know, it's not like, I'm not like, whoa, that's amazing. And just like, you know, what it still moves that, you. Yeah, because there's a lot of images, there's a lot of layers, there's a lot of uh, symbolic as well. And, but all those emotions were already, um, embodied they were already uh, our, uh, I already let go of a lot of those things mm. when we did the record sure. and so which led me to I think to to enjoy the process because I never really enjoyed any any of it before mm. you know going in studio and so that's it's very it's a cold environment in the studio Sure. When you're alive there's like that that contact with people there's you know you can touch people you can you know like only like a little connection 
for a very brief moment and, and it can, it will carry, you know, the whole, the whole concert will be like uplifted from that connection, human connection. But in the studio, it's very cold. There's always a distance with you and the machine, even though you're, you know, you're, you're crafting your songs. And, but for that record, it was really completely different. It was really, it, it was a complete new uh, approach. And I think it was, it was closer to, to, to what I wanted to do, more alive, uh, spontaneous, um, instinctive. It, it wasn't really about, oh, should I say that? Or where's the hook? Where's the chorus? Okay, well, you know, is it like on, what's the, what's the beat? What's, you know, the tempo and okay, well, there's the breakdown. And so I didn't think about- It was about, less thought of, it was more about- Yeah, it was really about the emotions. Just like yeah, and about, it. about the sensations, about, you know, just like losing yourself in the, in, in the music. And that's the thing, when, when I was talking with my, one of my friends last night and he told me like, nobody, nobody knew what to expect. Mm, definitely. Obviously, which is something good mm. when you're an artist. Yeah. To know well, you know, when you're always expecting the same record, it's, you know, it's then it becomes a, a gimmick, sure. you sure. know. But in my opinion, but he said at first, I was, he told me he said at first, at first I was like kind of scared because what it's all about, you know, yeah. what what it's <laughs> what is that? And uh, he said, and, and then after that I was trying to, you know, I was very nervous and. And then at one point I just like let go and then I, I was able to embrace the record and just to, to really um, to feel comfortable with it because it's so personal, but at the same time, there's like themes that are very uh, universal in a way. Sure. And, but still to, to, to listen to it with the music, the tone, mm. so all, all the different elements, all, all the little sounds here and there. So that's, that's, you know, it's, it's, yeah, when you, when you're, I said, well, for everybody that expected like a folk record, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs>